Well, hi there, everybody. Good morning to meteorologist Travis Klineski here on this Monday morning. It is shortly after 7 o'clock. The cold front is on the doorstep of the Tri-Cities this morning. Breezy southerly winds out ahead of it, 10 to 20 mile per hour winds. Behind it, even stronger north and northwest winds of 15 to 25 plus miles per hour. Moisture beginning to develop near this area of low pressure. We'll see more moisture develop as the morning goes on. Now, I think this is mostly going to be rain. I'm a little iffy on the snow right here. I don't know if it'll be cold enough for snow to fall here. So mainly going to be rain, and even if flakes do fly, with the ground so warm and temperatures well above freezing, I don't think we'll see any accumulation during the day today. Meanwhile, ahead of the front, maybe some rain, some thunder and lightning down here in Kansas, lifting northeastward here. Moisture becomes a little more prevalent as we get into this afternoon. But look right here to the northwest. Folks to the north and west will get very little moisture with the system. The biggest thing that we saw with this weekend with the forecast models is everything shifted to the southeast. So now we're now looking towards the southeast for the best chance and the higher amounts of moisture with this system. Again, I'm still iffy on snow chances this afternoon here to the west of the Tri-Cities. I think this should be mostly rain right in here, but a cold rain. Wind strong behind that front. Front continues to advance southeast where the moisture, our best chance of moisture will come overnight tonight. Rain trying to mix with snow during the overnight hours. Late night, I think, is when we start to see that chance here in the Tri-Cities get a little bit better. But that might be on the tail end of the system here. So by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning, we may be getting close to done with the snow. But any areas that do see snow overnight, it would be wind-driven snow. Those winds are going to be very gusty out of the north behind that cold front. We're talking about gusts that could exceed 40 miles per hour. So blowing snow would probably be the biggest travel issue. Poor visibility restrictions. I think there could be some accumulating snowfall, but mainly on grassy surfaces, so I don't think the roads will be too bad. Good moisture falling in eastern southeast Nebraska here. They need it just as much, so hey, they're going to be happy to get that. Might even mix with snow tomorrow morning in the east. Things winding down farther west here, getting a little of the sun as the day goes on. Strong northerly winds keeping us on the cooler side of things. As things wind down in east, the east, we'll see the moisture clear out. Skies clear up for a time, the winds will die down, but then... Clouds will back into the area later in the night and into Wednesday morning. And in fact, those will be kind of stubborn in the eastern half of the state on your Wednesday. So rainfall amounts. This is rainfall plus liquid equivalent precipitation. So this is including the snow, That if you were to melt that snow. Again, this is still a good moisture maker. It just maybe isn't as much as I was hoping. I, last week when I was doing the forecast, it was looking like a widespread one to two inches of snow, and some would even get more than that. And now some areas have been really cut back the northwest because everything has shifted southeastward so a lot of areas now will get under an inch of rainfall or rain plus melted snow to the southwest some places will still get over an inch of rainfall though and maybe a little snow to go along with it so this is still some very good moisture we'll be happy with what we get but i would certainly love if we could get more especially in these areas to the north and west now when it comes to snowfall totals it's kind of like throwing darts basically at a dartboard well, blindfolded, basically. <laughs> it, it's going to be very difficult to figure out snow totals. I'm kind of going with a broad zero to two inches of snow, but there are going to be some places with three, maybe four inches of snow. And that would even include the middle part of the state, even though it doesn't show much here. I would not be surprised if maybe there's an inch or two, maybe three inches of snow right in here. It just all depends on if the snowfall rate can overcome those warm ground temperatures, where the ground temperatures are going to be, the surface temperature is going to be above freezing. The ground is warm because it's been so warm recently. And uh, so it'll be tough to accumulate here. So uh, and it'll mostly be grassy surfaces where we see a lot of this accumulation. So again, kind of a widespread broad zero to two inches with isolated three and four inch amounts not out of the question. Other models have a little bit more than this particular one. Well, on to temperatures for today, topping out in the 60s in the east, even lower 70s until that front comes through, then it'll cool off there. So even the tri-cities we've already seen are high for today, to be honest with you, as the cold front's coming through early this morning. Behind the front, 40s and lower 50s out there for this afternoon. Tonight, we'll dip back into the upper 20s and low to mid 30s. But notice, a lot of places are only dropping to around freezing, maybe even not below freezing. So that's why the snowfall totals or snowfall might continue to melt on the surface. But it's a better chance of doing it at night when there's less solar radiation than there is during the daytime hours. So I think our best chance of accumulating snow would come overnight. Tomorrow will be a bit of a chilly day out there, especially in eastern Nebraska with the thickest clouds, 40s there, lower 50s farther west. Tomorrow night, down into the uh, mid and upper 20s for overnight lows. And then looking ahead to your day on Wednesday, we'll see temperatures. That will be, uh, once again, 40s and 50s. 
in the eastern part of the state we'll be looking at the coolest temperatures with the thickest clouds the rest of your forecast conditions will get better beyond wednesday we'll start to see some warmer temperatures later in the week temperatures climbing into the upper 50s to near 60 a little windy on friday there and the weekend looking pretty good right now 60s even lower 70s on sunday with lots of sunshine beyond that one more warm day on monday of next week and then our next cool down comes next tuesday and wednesday and that will come with our next chance of moisture i think after today and tomorrow our next chance of moisture will likely hold off at least decent moisture would hold off until next tuesday and wednesday we might see some later this week especially towards friday but i'm a little iffy on that chance right now but again we'll be watching a little over a week from now when our next chances will start to make their way in well, I want to thank you all for watching on this Monday morning. I hope it's a good one for you. I hope you can get some good moisture out of this one. I'll see you all on Tuesday morning as things are starting to wind down. Take care and God bless. Bye.